Good evening, everybody. Last Sunday, we did a Sunday school lesson out of direction. Um, practicing judgment. Um, Bible background, Ephesians 4.25, 5, two, 5 through 2. Colossians 3.117. Printed text, Colossians 3.5. 17, um, devotional reading, Romans 8, 1, 11. Aim for change. By the end of this lesson, by the end of this lesson, we'll, we will explore the symbolic significance of being clothed in Christ for justly, for living justly in the world. Appreciate ways others have demonstrated being clothed in Christ and commit to living justly. The in focus story says Jason couldn't believe it. He had just run into his old friend Brandon at the, at the local grocery store. He hadn't seen him for three years. They had both gone their separate ways after college and failed to keep in touch. While in college, Jason and Brandon had both accepted Christ and were baptized at the same church. As they stood there in the aisle catching up on old times, something about Brandon rubbed Jason the wrong way. Now Jason could see what well, now Jason could see why they hadn't kept in touch. Brandon was a different person. He talked badly about immigrants and called women out of their names. He also ran schemes that cheated his customers out of money. Jason silently prayed for Brandon as he listened to him recap the last few years. You know, Jason, you know, Jason said, one of the best things I remember about college was when we both began following Christ together. Brandon looked at him like a deer caught in headlights. When we chose to follow Jesus, we chose to treat people as human beings made in the image of God. What happened? Brandon looked down. I really can't tell you. Life happens. Everything isn't always black and white, and it's hard when the whole world is against you. Jason nodded and said, it's true, but if something is wrong, making it right starts with you. Justice is never absent of personal character. How has your relationship with Christ? Christ caused you to live justly. In this lesson, it says he talked badly about immigrants, and then they put that in the same boat as calling women out of their names. He also ran schemes that cheated his customers out of money. So talking bad about Im immigrants is as bad as stealing or talking bad about women. Um, I feel like practicing justice and I feel like um, all of the Sunday school lessons are brainwashing. I think that it is telling you what to think and how to feel. Um, in other words, if an immigrant comes over here, which they will do, if an immigrant comes over here and takes your money, takes your job so that they can feed their family and your family starve, you should love them. I, I beg to differ. Um, and here we went on, um, in our Sunday school class, I mean, I stopped there. I, I didn't hear anything after that, to be honest. But I will be more thorough um, in all of the other Sunday school lessons that I'll cover. But um, I, Sunday school and a lot of things that go on in church are a matter of getting you to lay down like a rug. In the Bible, it says, slaves, obey your masters. And um, I, I have a problem thinking that the God who made me would want me to be a slave. I mean, if you have children, think about it. Would you tell your child to be a good slave? Would you? 
just something to think about. Take care. Bye.